Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Salosa and this is Overanalyzed or Spectating Overwatch for Overwatch 2. We've never done this before and we're going to try it. Now, if you want to send video clips in to appear on this series, then what you need to do is go to unitloss.com forward slash overanalyzed. But because Blizzard don't actually support the replay viewer for some reason, which is bloody annoying, you have to record your own gameplay. So record it, upload it to YouTube. I will only accept YouTube links. Do not send me files. I will not click on them. Anyway. Let's do this, because it's going to be beautiful. It's the first time we've done this. Now, <laughs> i got a spicy one. I've always got a spicy one, but i got a super spicy one. This is Mercy, and the Mercy player essentially says they've got no idea how to play Mercy in Overwatch 2. So this got me thinking, actually, I bet most people don't know how to play their heroes in Overwatch 2, because it's totally different. It's 5v5 now. I don't even know how to play the heroes that I play. You know, we, we, I'm playing through the beta, and I'm hoping that we get good games, and I'm hoping to learn stuff, but it's going to be a learning process for all of us. So I just thought, you know what? This would be super cool to actually go through. But yeah, you need to record your own YouTube videos. Upload them. Send me the link. Um, you can just do it on the form on uh, unitloss.com forward slash overanalyzed. And eagle-eyed viewers may notice that um, there used to be a requirement for the replay code. I've removed that because obviously you, you can't send a replay code. So just send the link through. Okay, uh, the email says, <laughs> it says, why I need coaching? Basically, because I don't know how to play in Overwatch 2, but um, it says my position is awful. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I end up in the enemy's face and I die. Um, there's probably issues with the fact there's only one tank as well. My heal priority is terrible, terrible. Please help me, please help me. Now, this Mercy is actually a 1500 SR Mercy in Overwatch. So it's kind of a silver level Mercy. It's kind of low, but it doesn't matter because it's a brave new world. So we're going to get to see what the hell goes on. So let's do this. Vivian, what have you been up to? Oh, you know, surviving. And how's Murphy? Doing much better. Now that you aren't feeding her scrap all the time. I believe Murphy is Sojin's dog. And I think we'll find out about that in a future cinematic, potentially. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing here? We're damage boosting the uh, the Junkrat. Now, you've got to remember with Overwatch 2, there's only one tank. Um, so your DPS... Okay, so let's just pause this, actually. Because DPS are stupid. They're idiots, right? They've always been idiots. But they're absolutely idiots in Overwatch 2. Because you've only got one tank. Now, DPS, they've got to get it through their thick skull. You need to use the map to keep yourself alive. Now, what I mean by that is you've got to use geometry. You've got to use line of sight. You can't just stand out in the open, just like... Yeah, let's go. Like you could in Overwatch 1 because you probably had an Orisa and a Reinhardt and there's just barriers for days on your team or whatever. Or even if you didn't have another barrier tank, you've got another tank. In this, you don't. So you have to be very careful of your position. And this means that there will be moments where you DPS will just die. Like DPS have to not be in a bad position to allow the supports to heal them. They can't expect to be bailed out by supports because that means supports will go into a bad position and probably die. And then it's the DPS's fault. It gets really annoying. Okay, so... We're sending it a choke. We've got Junker Queen as our tank, so she, she doesn't have a barrier anyway. We're, our healing's okay at the moment. Our positioning is okay. Um, obviously, um, we're not exposing ourselves to damage, which is good. They're, okay, the Reinhardt's just gone in. Now, we're repositioning again. Okay, healing the Junker Queen. There's literally nothing more you could do here. Now, we're on the Lucio. Back on the Junker Queen. Uh, our Junkrat's got a kill. Okay, uh, so, so there's another thing as well for Mercy, which is specific to Overwatch 2. The... Uh, Guardian Angel. Now, this is probably going to get changed. In fact, it is going to get changed. Blizzard have said they're changing this. But the way it works is at the moment, which is not great, is when you use Guardian Angel, if you use it for its max duration, so if you use it when you're, you, you basically fly all the way to the target, you will then fly up in the air as a super jump. It's automatic. If you cancel Guardian Angel, then you won't. Now, there is a bug where you can endlessly do this as well, but I don't think we'll see that in this video. But that's why the player shot up in the air, which I it's not great. It needs to be changed. Um, but I, honestly, everything up until that point was great. You kept distance from the enemy. Your healing priority was fine. We're damage boosting uh, now, which is fine. We're getting a bit crazy. We'll probably go for a res there. Is that our Sojin? That's the, yeah, it is. We could, we could res our Sojin. See, so we should probably have got our Sojin back there. And we didn't, which is a shame. Uh, pinging as well. This is a completely new system uh, in, in Overwatch. Mercy is generally in a good position to do this a lot, although we're kind of exposed here now. We're, again, good repositioning. You see, like you see what I mean? This doesn't look like a this doesn't look like a silver mercy to me. Now, it may just be a case of this player was silver mercy back when they played Overwatch, which might have been ages and ages ago. But the positioning so far, I think, has been pretty fine. Again, like we can see this, like like look at what we're behind here. We're behind this wall, which is, you know, this is great. You know, we're using terrain to our advantage. We're not overextending. You know, I think at the moment we're doing fine. The only issue I've seen so far is um, we haven't actually res that Sojin when we probably could have. That's unfortunate. 
That's unfortunate, but we're dead now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, actually, really good to get out. But we've got... Oh, actually, I think our team are fine here. We're going to we res the Lucio? That's fine. Any, anyone would help at this point. Um, it's unlucky that we've lost our tank, but I think we've still got enough to keep this going. So actually, kind of a nice return. See, this is the thing with Overwatch 2, right? In Overwatch 1 world, the fight probably would have been over then. But in Overwatch 2, it's not. It is a bit more brawly. And I think, honestly, I think you're playing quite well. I was expecting really terrible Mercy play, but no, this is good. This is really, really good. Now, there is going to be a new statistic, I think, in the game. Or it might be in the game at the moment. Where... Okay, hang on. Okay, I'll carry on what I'm saying. Uh, Soldier just instantly got killed by the, by the, by the, by the widow. Um, nice res. But the um, the stats between who you're beaming uh, and what beam you're using. So um, damage uptime and healing beam uptime. I think that's a stat. It might be a stat at the moment or it's being added or something. I'm a bit confused on the timelines. But yeah, I don't know. This is okay. So Soul Juice Tap Visor. We use Valkyrie to support the Tap Visor. He got killed and we rezzed him. That Reinhardt is way out of position. And our healing priority is totally fine. Keep that Lucio alive. Um, you're also... And, and I really like this. And I don't mean this in a negative way. But you're really abusing the... Um, line of sight beam. So the beam stays connected to a target even if you break line of sight for a few seconds. I think it's 1.5 seconds. Uh, which which you can use that to keep yourself safe while still providing healing. This is fine, honestly. This is totally fine. Okay, the, 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 one of the problems we've got in this team comp is that Reinhardt can shatter at will. And what I'm worried about is this Ryan can just... When he gets another shatter, it like, might not do within a minute, but um, if he does and this team follow up, then we've got a problem. But I swear down, this has been totally fine so far. And also, the thing I wanted to say about... Um, okay, there we go. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah, so it's already in the game, the beam amplified. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go back, let's go back. Okay, yeah, beam amplified. This is what I was looking for. So, amplified damage. Um, let me just make this a bit smaller. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> amplified beam... Uh, yeah, damage... Okay, so it's damage amplified. Oh, offensive beam usage. Okay, if it says NYI, it d yeah, okay, that's why I'm getting confused. So if it says NYI, I think it doesn't work, but it will. So healing beam usage and offensive beam usage, they don't work at the moment, but if they did, that'd be really, really cool because you'd be able to see, like, you know, we'll be able to work out, like, when we get into Overwatch 2, it'll be, is this a heal bot mercy or is this a mercy which heals effectively while also um, doing damage boost? And we'll be able to work that out because we can see the healing done. And obviously, this is something that's going to take experience and playing like Sons of Overwatch 2. But you'll be able to tell, like, should a silver or a gold or a platinum mercy have X amount of healing compared to X amount of, let's say, healing beam uptime versus uh, damage beam uptime and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and also from the damage amplified stat, which does work at the moment. So we know that 621 damage has been amplified. You'll be able to, like, correlate this with offensive beam usage to work out if it's effective targets that you're damage boosting, which I love all this stuff. It's so cool to see this. And much more cleverer people than me will work out what's optimal. And I can't wait for that. Most likely the pros and the pro coaches will. And then we'll learn because we're idiots and we kind of learn off them in a lot of ways. But anyway, yeah, so now we've got Valkyrie. So all we're waiting to do here is for the enemy team to push in. The ping system, which I keep wanting to talk about, but I haven't really spoke about too much, is when you're Mercy, and in fact, I'll pause this now. So when you're Mercy here, you've got a good overview. And the overview here, it's a little bit limited because I guess we can... Let's just sort of move this forward a little bit. Um, they're in their final attack phase. I think we're only really worried about Reinhardt's shatter that could wipe the team out at this moment in time. Um, okay, I'm going to pause it here because this, uh, this I think is fine. So obviously you see your whole team there, which is really, really cool. Now, I don't think I've seen you... Well, I think you have pinged some stuff, but what I'd be looking at here... I'm in Valkyrie. I've got a great view of the battlefield. Mercy... Is one of the best heroes in the game for pinging because she's got like you're generally focused on uh, more of a strategic overview of the game anyway with mercy and so you can see more stuff going on so if somebody was flanking here you can easily ping them you can look at them and ping them obviously if someone's there or if someone's there you can ping 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 to let your team know or if someone comes through the uh, the hotel you can ping them there so again good position because you know we can't be shot by the enemy here so we'll see what you do with this but you really shouldn't leave this position and i don't think you will see this is totally not silver mercy this isn't if you're playing like this i don't think you'll be silver in overwatch 2 honestly you will not be silver you'll be whatever the new ranks end up being <laughs> you'll be at least golf 2 let's say <laughs> probably better than that i don't know Okay, damage boosting. Like, we haven't really spoke too much about the damage boosting priority, but uh, you are generally damage boosting the DPS, which is fine. Junker Queen is also a good target for being damage boosted when a, a fight breaks out. It, she probably will get nerfed, to be honest, in the future, because she does a bit too much damage, I think. Um, but 
I don't know. Maybe that's offset by the fact she isn't really that defensive. <laughs> okay, we don't want to get caught in that. Okay, so Guardian Angel away from that. We should damage boost attack visor. Hmm. We should damage boost attack visor, but I think we're going to win anyway. So, again, it's only a little minor mistake. Like, we... I don't think the enemy team are going to be able to do anything here because they're being ripped apart, but... The enemy team had some very clear win conditions and it was just shatter the team and follow up. That was it. And they got a few shatters off and didn't actually follow it up. So this again is like, this is the Overwatch 2 world, right? You need to be able to identify that. So if I was the enemy team, I would have just, like, if I was the Reinhardt, I'd have just run in and shattered you in the back and just killed you basically. <laughs> or, or shatter the front line because it's free and hope the enemy team come with me or, or my team push through. Um, but honestly, this is good mercy play. I don't think this is terribly bad. I think your gameplay... Your gameplay style is suited to Mercy in Overwatch 2 because you're not overextending. You're keeping line of sight. Uh, you're blocking line of sight even between yourself and the enemy. Your healing priority, I think, is okay. Your damage boosting priority could be a bit of work there. You didn't res Sojin when you could have done. You could have res her and got out of there. I think you would have been safe um, because if the enemy were being more aggressive there, it would have been a 4v5, and that's obviously not great. We would have probably lost that fight because you have to remember again with overwatch 2 it's 5v5 so in the 6v6 world if you lost one hero obviously that was bad and the enemy team had a you know 6v5 they probably would win that fight in this it's even worse because then it becomes a 4v5 and if that player is the tank that's died then it's it's really hard to recover and this is why you see zen being used a hell of a lot in overwatch 2 at the moment because discord orb is just incredibly powerful you discord the tanks and just destroy them uh, there's no coming back from that. Or Anna. Anna with anti-nade, incredibly powerful. Anti-nades the team, then they die. Or you focus down the tank. Similar in a, in, in a lot of ways to Discord, you could argue. Okay, so now we've got a pharmacy. And um, I guess we're going to try and pocket this. Now, one of the things I always say about this is you don't need to look at the Farah. This goes without saying. And uh, we'll see what you do. You seem a little bit out of your comfort zone here. In fact, I would say with your Mercy gameplay, you seem a little bit out of your comfort zone when it comes to general movement like you were you're kind of like a ground mercy if that makes sense which is fine you know like you're still playing safe uh although we are okay we can res that that's fine this is the power of mercy we can res this and we can go again but we need our team to push and we need to heal the tank and we didn't oh sorry our lucio that got killed uh it looks like we're still kind of trying to push but again it's going to be difficult so one of the things we're walking into here is something i think we'll see a lot uh in overwatch 2 it's a barrier tank versus a non-barrier tank and it means if you don't commit... So what's that? Like, basically, what's happening here? Let me pause this. Is... Um, so we've lost... Have we lost... No, we've got a Junker Queen there. We've got somebody there. I can't quite see that. Is that a Bastion, maybe? Junker Queen and Bastion there. Now Lucio there. And then we're here. And I think someone... Yeah, because we damage boosting the Bastion. Or we're healing the Bastion. Um, but the, the issue we've got is... We need to commit. Like, as a team, we have to absolutely just go in. We've got to commit here. And we're spending all of our time in this choke. This isn't really a specific thing to Mercy. Because you can't... Like, you're Mercy. You can't force the team to go. You could over voice comms. Go, guys, let's go. Let's go, you know, push. But you can't sit in a choke while the enemy team are over here. And they're sitting behind a barrier just spamming through at you. And they're getting kills. And they've also got a, a, a Widow who was able to get a kill. And then, obviously, you had to res and then... Our Farah's died again because our Farah is like in the back line and doesn't have support. Yeah, so like this is not... So this is a bad Valkyrie. This is a bad, bad Valkyrie because we've lost two of our players and they're both our DPS, so we have no way really of killing them. This is a very risky res and uh, we should be dead. Very lucky that we're not dead here. Okay, we are dead now. We're absolutely dead when we hit the floor. Goodbye. Oh, we get saved. It's very messy though. The reason why that was a bad ultimate is what I want to kind of talk about is imagine if you use the ultimate now and i know lucio's just used sound barrier but you used valk when we had no damage potential and then you were trying to res and you were this close to getting killed i mean if we just jump back you'll see how close we were to getting killed here we just play through this again so we go for the res so here it is we're going to pop the valk well we've already popped it we're going to go down for the res we go for the res look at our health bar look at that you know we're, we're pretty low there 50 we went down to 50 hp there there is a world which isn't a world of like well, it's a world with high quality players. Now, I know this is the Overwatch 2 beta, so matchmaking can be a bit, you know, all over the place. But if you were playing in gold, you would expect they would kill you to do, you know, if you did that. Whereas in silver, maybe they wouldn't. So maybe that's something to highlight with your play. Like, maybe not be that that crazy. But the, the fact is, if Valkyrie was used, 
now, well, not now because we're losing the fight, but when Lucio used his sound barrier, might have been a bit more effective. Now, our problem is now we're getting staggered heavily and we just need to get out or die. We should not have followed that Junker Queen in. She's dead. We just let her, we just leave her, let her die. Because the problem we've got here is we're trickling in and I'm really, really worried that we're not going to get enough time here to get together and actually push. So all you should be thinking now as Mercy is I'm just going to back out. I'm going to top everyone up. I'm going to wait and I hopefully this doesn't happen because just the, the Farrah just going in is not what you want because Farrah is... Look, she's isolated in the back now, so we've got a problem. She's going to die. Like, that's a really bad play off for Farrah. It's a one-for-one -one trade. Um, but then she's died. But luckily, uh, well, their Widow's killing everyone, which, again, isn't lucky. We don't want to res this. We just basically want to get out of this. Die or get out. Resing this is very risky. Yeah. We shouldn't We should not res there. Because think about res, right? Res is strong, but if you go for those kind of YOLO reses where you've got loads of fire on you, even if you res them, you probably will die because you're kind of stationary while you're doing it. But then all you're doing is the target you're resing will probably get killed. Or if they don't get killed, they'll get really low. They're just giving ultimate charge to the enemy. Now, remember, in Overwatch 2, ultimates charge slower than they do in Overwatch 1. And so they're more powerful, right? And there's less players, which means any kill you can get is even more powerful. So you've got to be careful. Uh, this doesn't matter here. This is fine popping this because we are on the point. This is a bit of a brawl. Again, you don't need to look at your target that you're healing. or your, what I, Like, this is... Like, I know I'm not the greatest Mercy player, but you shouldn't really be looking at the target you're healing, right? Look at them to heal, you know, or to attach the beam, but then look away, and then you're looking for the next target. Like, with Mercy, there's like a... I mean, this is the same for every hero, but there's like there's like a flow. There's like a process that you go through, right? Uh, let me change the color of this. Let me go back to my, my lovely yellow. Yeah, so we change... Like, there's a process, right? So if you're here at step one, this maybe is trying to find a target to heal let's just say in this example and then step two is we're not looking at the original target we've we're healing or we're connected to we're then looking for either movement which will be moving on to step three so it would be either like maybe we we're looking for a target's guardian angel to or another target to heal so we're healing that target and we're looking it's it's this idea of always being a step ahead with mercy and this is why mercy players it, it, it's just why it's one of the most complicated heroes to play in the game because you are like to be effective, you need to constantly be doing this all of the time. You're always thinking ahead. It's not like Anna, where Anna is extremely sweaty. And uh, like Anna is more reaction based, right? And you need aim. You need to make split second decisions all the time with Anna. With Mercy, yeah, you need, you, need to, you need to do a bit of that. But you need to be more like sort of thinking ahead a lot more. Like with Anna, it's just like, I'm going to need this. I'm going to see this. I'm going you know, to heal this. It's mental. It's probably why I like playing it because I find that gameplay comes to me a bit more naturally. Whereas Mercy, trying to just take a step back, I'm going to do this now, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. It, it's more difficult to do. And it's why if you ever get a Mercy one trick on your team, don't ever force them to play another hero because they'd probably be pretty decent. And I don't think there's really... I don't think Mercy's bad either in Overwatch 2. I don't I don't think it's bad in Overwatch 1, but I don't think... If, you, if you've got a Mercy on your team, it's fine. Like, it's totally fine. It looks like our team are actually going to take this, which is look... Well, it's not lucky, which is, uh, yeah. All right, so I quite like that gameplay. I, I think that was quite good. Um, I think you were quite a good player. Like, I'm, I'm really surprised as to the quality of that game, to be honest, because I was thinking this is going to be kind of bad. I mean, a 1500 average SR Mercy, I mean, that's going to have a lot of positional issues. But I, I think if you keep playing like that, you'll probably see a hell of a lot of success in Overwatch 2. Remember, it's just like... It's a little bit of a change to the way you play because you've got one less tank to look after. Uh, DPS do need a bit more babysitting because if they're caught out in the open. And I do think when this comes to Overwatch 2 launching or as more people get into the beta, you will notice that very new players to the game, especially if they're DPS, do stand in the open way too much and they get punished for it and they might blame their supports for it. It's not your fault. It's because they're not using the terrain, they're not using the map, they're not using the line of sight. They're just imagining they've got another tank when they don't this is a world where you have to be more self-sufficient and i think supports are generally have always been kind of self-sufficient in their gameplay style so it's that it's easier for them to sort of translate it across and obviously tanks are like supercharged uh compared to their overwatch one uh variants which obviously were not as strong as they are on overwatch 2 because it's one less tank so it got super buffed um but yeah i think your gameplay is pretty good anyway ladies and gentlemen do send in more video clips. All you need to do is go to unitloss.com forward slash overanalyzed and submit those clips. Remember, it has to be a YouTube video link. Stick it in the, the form and do explain why you want coaching as well and where problems are with your gameplay. Now, I know it's a little bit rich of me calling this coaching because how the hell can you coach Overwatch 2? I mean, we don't even know how to play the game. 
but I think it's still cool to start and then we can just, you know, roll through this and see how you guys like these videos. If you do, then we'll keep making more of them. But I think it should go down pretty well because it is different, but it's different enough that I think if you play Overwatch 1, you do need sort of like a bit of insight into how Overwatch 2 plays because you can't just go, it isn't just a one-to-one -one swap. You can't just be like, well, I played like this in Overwatch 1, so I'm going to play like this in Overwatch 2. It doesn't kind of work like that, especially on the new game modes and the newer maps as well. It's totally different. Anyway, thank you guys for listening to me and watching the video. Do subscribe and like the video and all that good stuff. Uh, I've been Stylosa. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you a lovely, lovely lot on the next one. See you soon. <laughs>